hey guys welcome back to the channel i am getting ready to go out to a birthday dinner of a friend so it kind of sparked this topic so do my makeup with me while i talk about friendship red flags one i was the youngest one in the group then he come to my space thank god for she so i'm no longer the baby of the group but it's funny how these females they were i used to call some of them auntie you know i get old but i used to call some of them auntie because there is an age gap and I just had respect for them because they were always so good with me, respectful and all of that. So them just earned the auntie title. Anyways, getting big, I was told not to call them auntie anymore. We still call it one and few of them auntie when it slips up. That just led me to actually talk about friendship red flags because these young women these women like there was never an issue they were always cheering not even just for me but for each other with all our achievements all when the goals were achieved when things were just there birthday celebrations exploring jamaica together it was always there i'll tag the video below so you get a gist some of the ladies that I'm talking about from the country run video when we went to Columbus Cove most of them are in that video but yeah I had actually asked um, a few of my friends what are some friendship red flags and I'm gonna tell you guys a few of them so one always want to be in the spotlight over you First of all, we sometimes realize that our friends want to be in the spotlight more than us and we just, I don't know, I don't know if it's delusional, we're delusional, we see it and we say, oh, them probably just more outgoing than me and oh, them probably just like the spotlight. I think that as friends, whether you're more outgoing or whatever it is, you're always supposed to say, balance the spotlight because at the end of the day if i'm thriving i want my friend to thrive too so i think it's really a big red flag to always want to be in the spotlight over your friend and the second one is oh don't come at me for my makeup application because i'm not a makeup artist disclaimer and as, as friends, we're supposed to love each other and everything that we do, everything that we say, the things that, that come out of our mouth as our friends, they're supposed to come out of our mouth with love. And as Christians, we know that in 1 Corinthians 13, it, it clearly outlines what love must look like. And more than 50% of the time, or friendships they have no love literally have no love in it and we continue to hold on to these friendships and as Christians we really need like good loving friendship good bonds so that we can have our community and so that we can we can share openly and we can not be afraid to share because sometimes we're going through some things as as individuals and we literally just need somebody to talk to literally and then 
we can't do that because then we always just cast aside those red flags as and we chalk it up to say it's so them stay but them literally do stay so it's literally we alone them behave so it and it's evident because you see how them operate with them other friends and you see how them them literally program with them other friends and when it comes to you it just feel as though it's forced and sometimes we have to look at those things and we have to cut our losses and and accept it as it is as christians we need people to be there for us that are intentional they intentionally love us they intentionally want to be in our space they intentionally just want to be there for us because at the end of the day it makes no sense we continue to hold on to those friendships and then most of the time we hold on to those friendships and then people that literally just try to use we like god give us wisdom knowledge and understanding literally for us to understand that when things don't seem right and when things don't feel right we literally just need for cut and stop making excuses and that is what happened to a lot of us we made too much excuses it's not even in our friendships and it's not even it's not just even our friendships it's with life we see something not going well and we literally make up the excuse that say oh i probably just saw it stay or it will get better or something no we have to understand how things are we have to be realistic we literally have to be realistic and if we don't cut our losses as it is literally gonna cost us monetary but it's a cost physically because emotionally mentally because then our minds are always gonna be at that place where we're wondering is it me or is it the friend or what have I done wrong or what can I do more when literally all we need to do is just cut cut out those people because we need to understand that people don't always mean us well they literally don't always mean us well and if sometimes if a, if a lot of us will just take those things into consideration then a lot of us will be further than where we are now and this is literally me preaching to myself like sometimes we have to take people at face value and we just have to move when we see that first red flag so we give people too much chances and we make excuses for people too much like if you are like this why am i gonna try to change you if you treat me alone so and i see you treating everybody out there so good it must be something let me tell you people bad mind people for no reason people bad mind for the things that you don't even have yet and if we can understand that and take that in our brain we need to understand we're not gonna tell no lie and another one is well, this is too light another one anything one me have them for out to first of all if it's not you coveting the spiritual giftings baby like ain't nothing wrong if we close and oh i see a dress and them say oh we get it dress oh you know say i get it from x place here them so they're like oh send the link whatever if it's nothing like that and it always feel as though it's a competition that's a red flag that is literally a red flag let us literally take the red flags as they are from the first get-go and make no excuses for people and just understand that if this is how they have a program we're gonna leave it at is as is it's 2024 and we need to just understand ourselves that not everybody is for us and not everybody will be in our corner and live 
let us seek God more so that he can send good godly friends for us because at the end of the day whatever we do in Christ is it alone of a loss so make we get with friends what in a Christ too so we can do it together so the journey may not feel so hard and heavy right thanks for coming to my TED talk I hope you did enjoy bye